Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is a reading for my lovely water sign, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to head over to our community tab, where as a subscriber, you can have an opportunity to win each month a free reading, okay? All of the rules are posted, so feel free to hop over there. Again, you just need to be a subscriber. If you're returning, welcome back and thank you again so much for all of your support, guys, especially my members. I love all of you guys, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so appreciative. Um, so lots of fun stuff in the Star Sea community that's building up. I love to hear from each of you. Please drop some comments and I do respond to each one individually. So let me just go ahead and tap into my spirit guides. And again, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising, welcome. All right, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination for my Pisces, sun, moon, and rising cross watchers, welcome. Please give me my highest and best messages. Oh, okay, they took out these three. <laughs> this is what they want. All right, Pisces, we have number 39, Metox, needs some relaxation. Number seven, Covenant, Sacred Contracts, Spiritual Enlightenment and Awakening. And in the hand, the universe is working with you, is your partner. So I love that. Definitely a water sign vibe. And also just to um, make sure that I mention while these readings are timeless, whenever you come across them, I'm working with the planetary energies of August, 2023. And actually this is being recorded on the full moon in Aquarius, August 1st. All right, guys. So it is a mid month reading. So we're going to take a look ahead and we are working with the planetary energies of a full moon in Aquarius, asking you to dig deep into what makes you unique and asking you to challenge social norms. Okay. And then in the August 16th, we have the new moon in Leo giving us the courage that we need to step into our new script. And at the end of the month, we have a full moon in Pisces, guys. All right, Queen of Pentacles showing up in your recent past with the chariot and justice. They want me to actually take these cards as recent past. Include, that's different. Okay, and they want me to take it like that. All right, we'll do. And we're going to clarify all of these cards, but I have King of Pentacles in your recent past. The chariot clarified, not even clarified, but the chariot with the um nine of wands coming in and that's fascinating because i will tell you that came up for cancer um not quite like this actually i think they had the chariot from a different deck clarifying the nine of wands it's wounded warrior energy in the recent past you were looking for a more stable energy and i feel like a lot of you may have been going through a separation um or it could be you know it, in addition to a separation, buying, selling property, which is not uncommon for the water signs and, the, and, and some of the collective right now in general, um, but water signs especially have moved because we've got the recent past. We've got Libra energy and Knight of Pentacles. So we'll get into that for sure. All right. Current energy. We've got the four of wands. They want me to take it like that and like that. That's different. Okay. One second. Eight of Pentacles with Scorpio energy showing up. And we've got the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Lots of fours, guys. That's a card or that's a number of stability foundation. You got a lot of earth energy right here. So some of you may be involved with an earth sign or earth in your chart. Let's see. Incoming energy, Two of Swords. Eight of Swords, lots of air energy. Oh, they want me to take it like this. Hanged man and wow, guys, another two coming in. Two of wands. Okay, let's clarify and let's take a look. So recent past, we've got the king of pentacles, the chariot with the nine of wands and justice coming in with the knight of pentacles. And I know a moment ago, I just had mentioned something about moving. Who's this? Eight of Swords comes up twice in your recent past and it's coming up in your future energy. So something about you being stuck in your mind and maybe getting in your own way when it comes to something that's more challenging. And, and I do have the Four of Wands in your current energy. So let's see. Let's see. Whoops. Nine of Swords. So you've got the Chariot card 
with the Nine of Wands and you also have the Nine of Swords clarifying. So lots of things keeping you up at night, boundaries. This is in your past. Um, I feel like maybe your boundaries were breached in the past. Like maybe you were in an energy of feeling not respected for what you brought to the table. Some of you, this could have been at work as well because there's a lot of pentacles here showing up in your recent past. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, clarifying the Justice card, and Knight of Pentacles. For those of you, you could have been switching jobs and moving out of a roommate situation. I, I, I don't really read this as a love reading. Some of you might have fallen so far out of love by the time that you moved, it's not registering that energy. If you're a cross watcher, the energies could be switched. Just be mindful of that. But when I see this number seven here is a sacred contract, and I'm looking at the nine of swords, the nine of wands underneath of the chariot, speaking of spiritual enlightenment and ascension, you've got the king of pentacles with the eight of swords, and you've got justice balance, right? With the knight of pentacles and the two of pentacles, more balance. So you've got lots of um, spirits saying, you were out of balance in the recent past and you were working hard to regain that. And you had a lot of tough decisions to make to do that, <clears throat> which included switching jobs potentially because, and some of you, like I said, I'm still picking up that some of you moved recently. Let's look at this because the four of wands in your current energy puts you in a car, puts you in a place of long-term commitment, stability, community. So let's see what's going on with it. Let's clarify that four of wands spirit. What's going on with, thank you. What's going on with that? Nine of wands is clarifying the four of wands. And because the full moon is happening in Aquarius and we are in an energy of rethinking the institutions that we have been programmed with, like marriage, government, all of those things, anything traditional, right? I'm wondering if there isn't something about a marriage or a relationship that you're revisiting because this four of wands is being clarified by the nine of wands. So this is pretty specific. Um, some of you may be considering um, not just a job change, but the way your relationships, hmm, let me see, the way you see your relationships are changing as well. And again, I think it's because you're seeking a, a more calm environment in your home life and at work, just in general. Um, lots of anxious energy in your past. Three of Pentacles is clarifying the Eight of Pentacles and the Death card, which is Scorpio energy, a card of transforming, rebirthing, alchemizing, healing, right? Three of Pentacles is a card of we do it better together, community. And with the Four of Wands in your recent past, a card of long-term commitment, and not recent past, but in your current energy being clarified by the Nine of Wands, Maybe some of you are in a relationship that you're scared to give it that to give it your all because of so much turmoil in the past. And <clears throat> but, you know, this card of doing it better together in crafting and community with the eight of pentacles, it's like you're very focused on doing something different. And I feel like you're a little bit stuck in your head about it. Let's see, this Four of Pentacles is, again, a card of, like, stability and home and holding things close to your heart. Guarding your money, guarding your finances, guarding your resources. Diversifying your funds. Being mindful of, of your income. Ten of Wands overburdened okay this is pretty specific but some of you i'm picking up are a little bit overwhelmed by the expenses that are tied to a marriage some of you are getting married and feeling like it's it's costing you more than it should um and again this is very specific because i wasn't picking up a, a love reading and i'm still not necessarily picking up a love reading but i'm picking up the feelings tied to this commitment and all that comes with it and that it's burdensome financially and that um you're considering if this is the right financial move perhaps um 
seen the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Funny because, okay, they want me to take it. So I'm taking the high priestess at the bottom of the deck because I'm seeing one, two, three, three number twos in your incoming energy. Card of balance, polarity. So intuition as well. Pisces energy as well. Okay. So spirit wants you to lean into your intuition. All right. Look at that. Two of cups. I'm sorry. Two of swords being clarified by the high priestess. Full moon in Pisces. Give me one second. <clears throat> Thank you. Full moon in Pisces asking you to lean all the way into your intuitive gifts. Some of you are meant to start a spiritual business. It must be a water sign thing because that came up for Scorpio and Cancer as well. I actually didn't come up for Cancer as a spiritual business, but um, it came into them differently, um, leaning into their creative gifts. But with you guys, you know, you guys are very, very intuitive and I'm picking up that, that is um, something to consider. Also, in terms of this long-term commitment that's in your current energy, hmm, Let's see what else we have about that. Yeah, some of you are overwhelmed by your commitments. And you're stressed out about it because it, it, it's draining you. Hold on, they want me to take this as well? All right. The Eight of Cups came out. That's fascinating, guys. The Eight of Cups is clarifying your Eight of Swords. And this is happening for all of the signs. I'm telling you, eights everywhere. I, I, it must be me. I, I don't know. But we've got the eight of cups clarifying the eight of swords. And I feel, again, like you're moving away from something. The eight of cups is about desiring more, right? You want your ten of cups. So there's nothing wrong with what you have, right? It's not necessarily broken. It's just not fulfilling. And Pisces, I'm feeling like this overburden you have by the expectations that people place on you. And I'm sorry to say, thank you, Spirit. Spirit saying that you allow them to and that it's that it's weighing you down and it's not allowing you to express yourself like you are overwhelmed, overburdened and under pleased, <laughs> under pleased. Uh, OK, they're asking me to go back to. All right. Thank you, Spirit, to the metox, repairing the body, mind and soul. You have to fill your own cup. You've got to have some fun. You've got a lot of force showing up because Spirit's letting you know that because you recognized that you were out of balance, that simple recognition, they're here to support you and refill your cup. But you have to want to know that it's okay to rest. It's okay to replenish. You don't have to be there for everyone all of the time. And they said that, Allow yourself to be financially abundant and, and, and stop thinking that healers um, need to be, I'm hearing like in debt, like poor, right? I don't know. That's not true. <laughs> I would just say that. Um, so what's the energy? How are, how are they trying to say this? Like you have this old belief and, and a lot of us do, right? And I was guilty of this as well. Like somehow... Um, if you are in the community, if you are in the energy of giving to others of your spiritual gifts, whether it be through psychism or because you're a pastor or, you know, high priestess, uh, a high priest, whatever it is that you do, we have been programmed falsely that that is supposed to be such a humbling life that you live poorly. That is untrue. And we are all meant to be here and experience abundance and experience life and joy and live, right? We are meant to live, not live to die, not live to heal, but we are meant to live and experience and share of ourselves. Because when we share of ourselves, our unique gifts, when we share our energy, when we broadcast positivity or anything that we broadcast, okay, that is what feeds the soul. That is how you grow and give back by just being yourself. It gives oddly enough other other people permission to do the same thing because they watch you, right? So don't be afraid to move forward. Um, I feel like, like I said, this two of wands, you're ready to explore, you're ready to do the new thing. Um, and a new perspective is needed with this hanged man energy number um, 12, which again reduces to number three. And 
although I don't see it here, I'm getting Empress energy. Hmm. We'll see what happens with that. So I'm sensing that it's like at the end of all this, you're really going to see a, like you're going to come into right relationship with your gifts. Mm. I'm sensing that some of you are almost mm, a little scared of your abilities as you are awakening and you're feeling a little isolated, perhaps. The moon is popping up. Um, and, and again, this is really calling you to step into your gifts, especially at the end of this month with this full moon in your sign. Um, they want me to dig deeper here into your incoming energy. Give me one second, please. What is it they want? Uh, they want me to go here. Okay. So let's take a look at the incoming energies a little bit more with you, Pisces. I've got Knight of Pentacles that slow and steady wins the race. And in terms of your money and your... Um, because that's what I'm picking up. It's it's in terms of money and stability. You could be dealing with an earth sign or have an earth sign coming in, but I'm I, I'm not picking that up. Not King of Swords. This is a professional person. Um, so let's see. Knight of Pentacles, King of Swords. Give me one second. Because this is still coming in with your stability. Three of Wands and Seven of Swords. They want me to take those together. Planning. Give me one second. The lover's card choice. One second. One more spirit, please. For Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Give me one more card if that's the lovers, please. Number six, a card of balance. Thank you. We'll take this one. Nine of wands again. Guys, you continue to get the nine of wands when it comes to making a choice. There's exhaustion here. There's a lot of internal debate and anxiety about making a choice. And it seems to be about making a choice to move, move ahead, travel, explore something new. Um, so I'm not sure, Pisces, where your blockages are. It, it really, spirit seems to be telling me, it seems to be just about exhaustion. And then because you're so tired, it's almost like you have... I say this uh, analysis paralysis, right? Like you've thought it out, like, should I do this? Should I do that? Um, where do I go next? And in essence, spirit's just asking you to relax. You can't mess this up, right? You can't mess this up. You are so intuitive. You already know what you have to do. You already know what's next. It's just a matter of allowing yourself to believe that you can and you will. And that success is, 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 inevitable for you it truly is the knight of pentacles the king of swords it's like you're going to be the the professional in whatever it is that you do you are going to be sought after people are going to seek counsel from you and your life experience is one that's unique and people can learn from you and they're going to be inspired by your story but you have to believe in yourself that you have a story worth telling that's part of it. And they want you to sit down and actually plan, be very cerebral. This full moon in Aquarius, that the energy that we are still experiencing is asking us to be very cerebral, plan out what it is that we want, write it down, um, you know, start really putting your energy in what makes you tick. What do you enjoy separate from giving and giving and giving to communities time and time again? what makes you happy because if you don't refill this cup you're going to continue to be in this nine of wands energy which is just exhaustion and always being in your masculine that's what happens when you are in this <clears throat> in this nine of wands energy and you keep getting a lot of nines and it puts you in your masculine being in your masculine is absolutely healthy when you are in the higher vibrations of your masculine. So the higher vibrations of the King of Swords is very methodical and clear-minded and business, um, professional, cut and dry, not a lot of emotion, um, not necessarily lots of passion, but a lot of knowledge, very um, methodical right and the king of pentacles again not very much in the emotion so different than your pisces energy this is all about maybe giving the deep emotions a rest and putting your ideas into manifest form and getting the thing done and it's a choice you have to want to do it and that's what spirit's saying this isn't about falling in love with anyone else this is about falling in love with all parts of yourself and finding right relationship and balance between your feminine 
and your masculine. So there's a time and place to be this very methodical thinking individual that puts plans into action. And there's a time and place to be the high priestess where you are all knowing and aware and able to intuit what's around you. But you have to find a balance. Otherwise, it's going to keep you up at night and you're going to have more anxiety than success. And that's not at all what um, what would serve you, right? So it's about releasing control and understanding that some rest is what you need and some fun to attract the manifestations you've been working on all year. And I do very much feel that by October, November, right, you're going to start seeing the benefits of all the work you've done. So again, just release control. Don't be afraid to experience something new. Um, spirit wants you to, <laughs> yeah, okay. So another number two came up for you. Again, twos are spirit sign for you to let you know that whatever action you're taking, when you start seeing the twos, is it in your benefit? Are you balanced in that action? So pay attention. So discomfort versus resentment. All right. So <clears throat> this is telling me that your shadow work is alchemizing past stories that caused you grief, that caused you blockages, that caused you resentment and sit in those experiences, sit in those moments all right, that you perceive as being traumatic. When you sit in the discomfort of it, instead of an energy of resentment, when you actually sit with the feelings, and you know how this works, when you sit with the feelings and you just allow divinity to wash over you and you greet those images with gratitude and compassion and empathy, there's your balance. Give thanks to the part of you that survived that discomfort. Give thanks to the part of you that lived through that perceived resentment and trust that the universe is always working with you and that those lessons in life are there to turn your energy around, this hanged man, to turn your energy around so that you can have compassion when you are greeted with others who are going to seek out your light as they try to move ahead through these tumultuous times, right? <clears throat> so learn how to sit in your emotions, learn how to accept the past lessons, be grateful for them and understand that you are being divinely led to face your true north and to step into your intuitive gifts and powers. And the universe is really conspiring to help you for sure. So get out of your way and allow the universe to uplift you. In order to do that, you have to stop being scared to shine and be as weird as you think that you are. We love it, right? Step all the way into it and release um, societal expectations. If you are in a commitment that is draining you, scale back from what those expectations are and then redefine it. If you were um, in an energy of getting married and now maybe you feel like that institution isn't something that you are ready or wanting to do, that doesn't mean that you don't love your partner. You may be surprised to learn that your partner also feels that the actual institution itself is not one that is to be explored in the future any longer. It doesn't have anything to do with the love in your relationship. It has to do with redefining societal norms. And again, it might not be romantic. It could be your family structure. It could be how your bills are paid. Whatever societal norms that you've been in, if you find that they drain you, whether it's working 80 hours a week for 40 hour a week money, or whether it's never having time with your friends, whatever the imbalance is, you have an opportunity to make a choice and live your life differently and have more fun so that you can attract the manifestations that you've been seeking because they're also seeking you. So let's see in, they want me to pull a card from here as we wrap up. All right. What messages do you have for Pisces spirit? Anything else as we head out here? What do we have a message from your star seed family? This one. Thank you. Deep cellular healing. 
Actorious energy, physical and emotional healing. You have been receiving downloads for a long time of spiritual awareness, balancing, and healing. And spirit says, in closing, have some fun. You have been downloading a new you <laughs> for the last, they're saying, 18 months or so, actually. So whatever was going on for you 18 months ago, I would say um, you are at the ending of that cosmic or uh, that that karmic cycle. And you have really gotten to a point where you are ready to lead others into a place of stillness with compassion. So take that as it resonates. I do believe that many of you are revisiting societal norms and redefining expectations in your life. If you are considering moving, I think this is a very good time to do that, okay? And um, anything that you put into action right now will be successful. Spirit's just asking you to be methodical about your choices and make sure to rest and have fun, all right? Because when you do it from desire versus obligation, there's no other, other option but to succeed. All right, Pisces? Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And again, guys, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the community tab for your chance to win a free reading. Feel free to join our members only for Star Seed Sundays. In addition to a lot of other fun stuff that members get access to, head over to my Instagram page to see all of the other content that I put up. And until next time, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. And until next time, Pisces, shine brightly.